Hello and welcome to the video. Well, it's half term here in France. Uh, as you've seen in the last video, I had my kids uh, with me and uh, we had a bit of fun uh, filming uh, a support video, which is going to appear in future videos. Anyway, um, it's still half term, as I said, and we're into the second week. Uh, first week was very rainy. I always seem to say that in videos. I always seem to say it's very rainy, but it has been. It's been really, really horrible. And today it's lovely and sunny, so I'm making the most of the, the sunniness and the dampness uh, to film outside. Uh, it is a little bit um, chilly, but uh, anyway. Uh, yesterday was a day off in France. It was uh, what we call Toussaint, uh, which is All Saint in English, I think. It's uh, a sort of, it's not a very happy, happy uh, sort of celebration, but it's when people go and put flowers on their loved ones. Um, graves um, but uh, it means that we have a day off as well so it meant that um, Madame Mega Bread Van was with us and uh, we decided to, to go to the local Audi in our village uh, which sounds very mundane but uh, we had a look at the the catalogue they produce um, sort of giving you sort of um, what's going to be um, on sale soon the promos and things like that but uh, like a lot of Lidl's and Aldi's, they also sell non-food items. So this is what sort of interests me usually. Um, and on Monday, on the 1st of November, they had a few things available on that day. And so we went uh, to go and see if we could find them. Uh, and well, I have them here. Uh, I thought I might share them with you because I thought they'll be quite interesting to to talk about um, the things that are going to be useful for my van really uh, probably for our car as well so uh, well what should I take first well I'll take the most basic thing uh, I thought I'd buy one of these um, it's um, spray pneu anti crevaison uh, which in France uh, when you buy a car you tend to a well, second hand car usually you tend to get one of these instead of a spare wheel. It's a bit strange. But uh, yeah, it's um, a sort of mousse type stuff that um, you, well, you attach it to the tyre and you spray it in, which I'm sure you've got in the UK and everywhere else. But uh, it was cheap. It was €3 Euros something. I thought it might be useful because you never know. I might end up with a flat tyre. And talking about flat tyres, uh, something else that I bought was this you can see that it's a bit dark it's a rapid air essential doesn't really tell you what it is rapid air essential but it's um it's quite a useful thing actually um and it wasn't that expensive it's to pump your tires up or footballs or anything you need to pump up and it works with um the cigarette lighter socket so that's kind of, kind of cool and um, yeah you got your PSI meter here and it means that if you have a flat where well, you need to pump your tires up a little bit well you can do it there and then usually when we go on holiday um, we usually stop at the the local garage and uh, pump up the the tires before we, we go and do about 300 kilometers um, it's probably the only time we pump the tyres up on the car, um, I think. But uh, I thought this would be ideal for my van. Um, because uh, with it standing still for quite a while now, while I do some, some work on it, obviously the tyres tend to, um, to lose a bit of air. Um, so yeah, very good thing. Um, what else, what else, what else? Um, I bought this and I'm not sure why I bought it. Um, it's very puzzling when you look at the picture on the front. No, it's not not really anything to do with gardening. Um, but um, yeah, I thought it might be useful, and then I realised it probably won't be. Um, it's it's basically for your car boot. Um, it's like a little platform thing. In fact, what I was thinking of doing is actually taking the things out of the boxes. I was talking about them, but I haven't so. Um, I think that well, I'll start with this and then I'll go back to the the pump doing everything backwards as usual so handy knife 
don't really want to cook myself live on YouTube. Um, not ideal either. Stick that on there. So no, it doesn't. It's determined not to open. <sighs> Trashing the box at this rate. Due to the magic of video editing, I can cut this out. Right, we're getting there. We've got inside. So, I'm not even sure they're going to be of any use. You never know. It wasn't expensive. It was five, six euros or something like that. And they sort of got a scratch thing on the bottom there. And you stick them in your boot. And you've got some Velcro fastenings, elasticated Velcro fastenings, I think they are, yes. And you stick them through the slots and you use that to support things so they don't fall over. You never know, because sometimes it has been known that we bought flowers for people, which is a tradition in France when you're invited to go and eat at a friend's house or relative's house, you often take flowers. So I think those will be for Madame Mega Bredvan. So yeah, those can go to her. So we'll go backwards and we'll open the, the thing that uh, I've just shown you. Um, has that got tape on it as well? No, it hasn't. And it's quite easy to open, so I probably won't edit that on the video editing software. And I won't be able to do a demonstration at the moment, but I probably will do it at a later date. Um, I just want to keep this video fairly short. I don't want to give demonstrations of things, otherwise it can be a little bit bloated. So yeah, basically it's your little thing like that. So you've got lighter socket plug at the back, which is all raveled up. I'm not gonna bother to undo it. And then inside you've got, inside you've got uh, your pipe to connect to the tire or to a football or to I don't know, uh, inflatable swimming pool, inflatable whatever, um, yeah. So I presume you just press the button, switch it on. Um, there's no other buttons on it, it's just a big red button, orange button rather. And that's it, so yeah, quite reasonable I think. I think it'll be very useful if it works when I test it, that is. Probably another excuse to do another video. Testing a electric tyre pump. I'll stick that back in the box, I think. So what have we got next after that? Got a couple of other things left, so I'll put you out of your misery. It's not gonna be a very long, long uh, chat, really. So I bought this, this was quite expensive, but probably cheaper than you buy on Amazon um, or other places, um, which will remain unnamed. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a battery power pack thing. Um, it says, aid au demarrage mobile pour voiture avec battery external power bank UMAP um bid so it's something to help you to start your car via an external battery so that's the translation um but i've i've seen this um i think it was on um on instagram there was a, a chap who's um renovating a 205 a peugeot 205 on there and he posted a picture of this. I don't think it was a Lidl one. I think it was probably one on Amazon. She, uh, Monsieur Bezos. Um, and um, I thought, hmm, I like that because I've had problems with the battery before, as you've seen in other videos. Uh, I've since changed the batteries. Support. Mega. Red. Van. Hill. Hopefully I won't be having too many problems like that, but you never know. Um, so, yeah, uh, I think I'll take it out of the box so you can see what you can do with it, basically. So, knife again. 
Ooh, it comes in a nice little a little cover thing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. It keeps it nice and protected, which means I can keep it in the van and it won't get damaged, we hope. So, yeah, I saw this on Instagram. I thought it would be a good idea to get one. I think this is exactly the same as the one I saw. Only it's from Lidl. It could do do some good if I break down because the battery has gone flat. Now that's happened to me twice when I had the old battery and each time I had to call my brother-in-law out to, to sort me out. Well, the second time I was actually next door to his place at my other brother-in-law's and so he just had to walk across uh, the garden. But the, the first time I broke down at the local supermarket and he had to come out and um, come and rescue me with his jump leads. It's quite embarrassing breaking down because you know, your battery's gone flat. Uh, the second time the battery went flat because I left my headlights on. Uh, I think the first time that happened as well. Anyway, so you've got you've got a light, which obviously isn't going to work because it's not charged up enough. No. It's strange because you've got a, a light this side, and I think that's the level of the battery by the look of it. It looks like a sort of volume symbol but that's not happening. Perhaps there's something else you need to do. Anyway, I'm not gonna to bother to look at the instructions. So you've got your on off button, you've got the, obviously the power level, I guess. You've got two USB ports, uh, one amp, two amp, I think. Output USB, five volts. Uh, output, 12 volts. I'm going to have to get my instructions and, and look at what this is about rather than just unboxing it and doing a video about it. But it's a start. So, yeah, it's an interesting little thing. And then you've got on the side here a little thing you can open. And I guess that's where your jump leads go. So with this, you get a multi-USB cable. So you've got uh, USB-C, you've got the original USBs there, um, it's a micro USB, and then you've got the really old crimped USB plug, if you can see that. So that's useful. Then you've got your jump leads. So that's your, your jump leads, which is quite short actually, I thought they'd be a bit longer, but... And that plugs into the the thing there that I opened, if I can open it again. So that plugs into, I'll get the light on it so you can see it. So you've got a, a plug like that that goes into it. And then you've got a usual USB house plug. That's, that's what the electric plugs look like here in France, a two pin plug. You have somewhere you've got two pins and you've got a hole, which is the earth. But a lot of the time the plugs are not earthed, surprisingly. And in our house we've got two earth plugs, one for the cooker, one for the washing machine. And all the other plugs in the house are not earthed, so that's probably not ideal, but 1970s electronics, or electrics even. But it's a lifesaver, and it, yeah. You can run your, your phone off it as well, but it's especially useful if I break down. I just have to make sure I charge it up before I use it. Oh, there's another lead here that's falling onto the floor. You've got a, a cigarette lighter socket plug as well. You can plug into the thing, which explains why you've got the output there. So that goes in and you've got an output for your cigarette lighter socket. So that is, is quite useful. So that's a nice, useful toy. Um, and I think that's nearly it. There's one last thing I wanted to look at before we come to the end of the video. And before I have need to go and get a cup of tea because it's getting a bit chilly. Um, I ordered this as well. Um, yeah, nondescript plastic wrapping because this is sort of to do with what's going to be happening next on, on Mega Bread Run. Um, I can just 
try to open this fairly quickly. Don't want to take it all the way out really because I want to keep it in the wrapper until I use it. I just wanted to show you roughly what it looks like. It's cheap insulating material. If you can see that. I'm going to give it a try because it was, I think it was about 16 euros. And I can't even remember how many meters that makes. I don't think it's very much looking at the, the way it's wrapped up. Um, but yeah, that's going to go on the, the panels that I bought that cost me a fortune purely because um, looking at the old panels that were there, which were the same, but just old, um, when they get water on them, they tend to fall apart. Whereas this is sort of coated, you've got the aluminium coating on there. And I thought that might protect them. Anyway, thanks for watching uh, me unbox things. More things will be happening with the van at some point. Um, like I said, the next thing is the insulation. Um, in fact, the very next thing is going to be doing some plastic repairs. And I'm going to be experimenting with um, creating some plastic slurry. So that's going to be fun. So take care of yourselves. Talk to you again. Bye. Quand je reviens dans mon Edsonne En maillot à mon lévi Au fond de moi, mon cœur résonne Car c'est mon pays, c'est ma vie C'est le plus beau pays de France